Hi, this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you joined me today for a new crochet tutorial and we are getting into spring and summer mode and I'm so excited to show you the beautiful summer dress that I created. I was in the Bahamas last month and I was inspired by the beautiful beach and sand and turquoise colors of this beautiful island and I saw a Missoni style designer, Italian designer dress that inspired me to create what I created for you today. It looks super intricate, but it's so easy to create. The only skill you need is single crochet and chain, and then there's a little bit of counting. It's a chevron pattern, and one triangle is made out of 27 stitches. So to figure out what is your size, the size that I'm showing you now is small, extra small, but for medium, large, extra large, etc., you just have to make a swatch of a triangle or two, and then see how many it takes to go all around your waist, and that is the size of your dress you need. It's basically a big rectangle that we assemble on one side, on one long seam, and then we create the triangle tops and uh, straps, that is it. So of course, I will take you through it slowly but surely, as usual, one step at a time. I cannot wait to create this with you. And here is my beautiful model, Maya, wearing it for you. She's dropped that gorgeous. She's a size small, but this dress would work for all sizes. You just need to adjust, as I said. And I will post the different sizes on my blog in the next few days. I am so sorry I have been slacking on posting the uh, written patterns on my blog, but I promise I will get to it and I will post all the things that I haven't posted till now. So I will update it really soon and all the latest patterns will be there super soon. So thank you for being so patient. Life gets busy sometimes, you know. If you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Is this totally free? Click on the subscribe button, hit the little bell to be notified every time I post something new. I'll put here my social media where you can find me uh, elsewhere, not on YouTube, on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, etc. Come also and check my knitting channel. It's new and I have a super, super cute uh, cardigan coming next week. Don't hesitate to do that so we can become bi stitcher together. I love how stylish it looks. I love how elegant the maxi size, the maxi dress makes it. But of course, you could make it midi or you can make it mini, short. That is totally up to you. You are in control. I am just merely showing you how to create the maxi and then you can adjust it to your liking. And that is the beauty of crochet. You know, I show you one thing and then you make it your own. I find myself staying home more with all the coronavirus care and all that. And I find my crochet and my knitting so calming. Tell me what you think about being able to kind of drown yourself into crafting and into knitting and, and into crocheting. And if it does the same to you as it does to me, for a few minutes or all the time that I crochet, I really escape the world. And I think that is really something that is important, especially in today's world with everything that is going on. Let me know. Let me know what crochet is for you. For me, it's my relaxation, my meditation. And when I have to concentrate on counting stitches, I forget everything else and it is a blessing a real blessing so today one of you will be able to win the material necessary to create this beautiful beach dress i will try my best to get exactly the same colors to you but i know that voltrum which is an amazing yarn by the way if you know me for a while you know that i've used it many times and i love it but it's getting a little harder to find so i'm going to put substitution yarn in the info box down below i will try to find the same exact yarn for the winner but i might have to send it to you in other colors so i will choose beautiful colors for you we can be in contact once the winner will be chosen we can have that discussion but one of you will be able to win the yarn necessary to make today's dress the crochet hook scissors and a tapestry needle okay and to participate you know the drill and if you do not know you just need to be subscribed to my channel of course the giveaway is only for my subscribers and you need to post a comment in the comment box down below that is it and then next time i uh, post a video or next time i post a tutorial i will let you know uh who is the winner deal deal 
And yes, so if you are interested in knowing how to create this beautiful Missoni style dress, then keep on watching. And in the meantime, mwah, happy crochet! Alright everyone, for this tutorial we will need 300 grams of the Voltrum yarn feelings. It's a four ply fingering yarn. Any other fingering yarn will do. Uh, the color, the kind of yarn is called My Melody. It's made in Switzerland and the color is called Feelings. So I use the turquoise and the beige part of the yarn. And then the same brand, the same kind of yarn, my melody, but only the color khaki. Um, don't you don't need 500 gram. I used 300 gram for this project for the maxi dress. And again, a fingering kind of yarn will do. This is a four ply, which means that it has four strands of yarn per um, to uh, crochet with, but the width is fingering. So just you know. You will also need a pair of scissors, a crochet hook, 3.75 millimeters, and a tapestry needle. All right, take your crochet hook and your yarn and make a slip knot. This pattern needs multiple of 27, so 27 plus 27 plus 27. One zigzag going up and down is 27 stitches. So I will put here the number of stitches I use for my small size beach dress and I will put other sizes on my blog in the next few days. For the purpose of this tutorial to show you the pattern I just did 27 times 2 so I have 54 stitches to show you how to create this pattern. And once you have your number of stitches you are going to, and that is very important, add five extra stitches one two three four five and let's tackle the first row you're going to go to the second stitch the second chain after your hook and you're going to make a single crochet and a second single crochet in the next chain then, super important, and you're going to do that at every beginning of each row, you're going to skip a stitch and you're going to begin your pattern in the next stitch, in the next chain. One. Now you're going to make a total of 12 stitches, so 11 single crochets more after you did that first single crochet after skipping a stitch. And once you have 12 single crochets from the skipped stitch, I will tell you what to do next. So we did two single crochets, skip a stitch, and now 12 single crochets. All right, so you have your 12 single crochets here. What you're going to do in the next stitch to create that little peak, you're going to make three single crochets in the same stitch. One, two, and three. And that will be the part, the upper part of your um, peak, the upper part of your zigzag. Next, you're going to make 12 single crochets again. Okay, so once you have 12 stitches, the next step is to skip two stitches. So you're going to skip the next two chains, one, two, and then you're going to begin making your 12 single crochets in the third one right there. And that will create the bottom part of your chevron. 
And I will meet you once you have 12 single crochets again. Here you go. So you see how we're creating that zigzag pattern that we need just by making for the peak three stitches in the same stitch and for the low part skipping two stitches. Now we are at the peak again. So you're going to make three stitches at the inside the same stitch. One, two, three. And then you're going to single crochet 12 and I will show you how to end your row. And of course you will have more zigzags than me for your dress, but ending will be exactly the same and beginning each row will be exactly the same. And then in between you have the numbers of chevrons that you want. All right, so make your 12 single crochets and each and every one each and every time you are ending a row, you're going to end it the same way and you're going to begin it the same way. So we begin by making two single crochets and skipping a stitch. And I will show you now how to end your rows. So you do your 12 single crochets as I said. This is what our work looks so far, going up, down, up and down. So you have two chevron patterns with your 54 stitches that we had made plus five. And the way you end each row will be skipping one stitch and making two single crochets. Every row will be ended this way. And that is very important if you want to keep the integrity of your chevron pattern. Then you're going to chain one and turn around. You're done with your first row. And for the second, remember how we began? We did two single crochets, one in the first stitch, one in the second, and then we skipped a stitch and then we began our pattern by making 12 single crochets. You skip that stitch and then now make your 12 single crochets. Once you have your 12 single crochets in the next stitch, you're going to make three single crochets in the next stitch, creating your peak again. So peaks will be over peaks and valleys over valleys. And then you're going to make 12 single crochets. And once you have 12 single crochets, time to create the little valley, which is skipping two stitches and single crocheting in the next, beginning to make your next 12 single crochets. Skipping two stitches. Make your 12 single crochets now. And again, once you're done with your 12 single crochets, you're going to make three single crochets in the next stitch, creating your peak. And then you're going to end your row by making 12 single crochets. And then you're going to skip one and end with two single crochets.
go you have three stitches left to end your row skip one and then end your row with two single crochets and remember this is how you are going to end each and every row the same way you're going to begin each and every row by making so you chain one you turn your work around and you're going to make two single crochets skip one and then continue in pattern and this is basically your chevron pattern so super easy it's just about counting stitches and making sure that you begin your rows the same way each row and end your row the same way make sure that you count your 12 single crochets in between your peaks and valleys and you're going to go and do that for six rows in total this is what your work will look like of course for the for my short one yours will be longer and I will show you next how to switch color all right so for this tutorial I used my sand color but in my pattern I do turquoise olive green and then sand turquoise olive green and sand but you do of course whatever you want so take your second color and you make a slip knot just like so and what you're going to do now is just grab the slip knot with your crochet hook and pass the new slip knot through the old one through your old stitch there we go and then you are just like that going to begin to crochet so you're beginning a new row so the way you begin your new row remember is by making a single crochet in the first stitch i take my new yarn and my old yarn with me just for one stitch and then just i let the end yarn be second single crochet and skip a stitch as usual and then begin your pattern with your first 12 single crochets and your new color And just continue in pattern the same way you had done so 12 single crochet then your peak being three single crochet in the same stitch you see how oh, pretty i love it and then your 12 single crochet and then skipping two stitches etc etc so for this sundress i began by making six turquoise rows then i made seven actually olive green rows and then all the rest of my dress were eight rows of each color so six turquoise, seven olive green, and then eight sand, and then repeating the three colors, but with eight rows all the time. The color pattern that I actually chose for my beach dress was turquoise, and then olive green, and then sand. But of course, you can choose any color you want, and you can also make the chevron rows uh, thinner or thicker. You can have like four rows of each color five six seven eight whatever you wish two rows of color would make it really thin little chevron zigzags at the end of each color when you're done with the color you just fasten off anyway and then sew in the loose tail in the back of your work and of course you're in control of the length of your sundress i wanted a maxi dress so i made rows and rows and rows but if you want it midi you make less rows less rows of chevrons or a mini dress also even less rows you are totally in control so at the end of your last row you didn't fast enough you are still with the blue color which was the last color you worked with so for my dress i had 19 different change of color really because i began with the turquoise and then i had three six nine twelve 15, 18, and then an additional 19th one. So 19 little block of colors going from the bottom to the top. I ended with the color turquoise. And at the end of row 149, I didn't fasten off. What I decided to do is put the work facing, wrong size facing me, and then I uh, assemble the sides of my dress together going from the top to the bottom but not totally to the bottom because I wanted to have a little slip open at the bottom 
that I think that's sexy and beautiful. I wanted it to be a little open also for ease of movement when I walk. But the way I assemble, you could do it with a tapestry no uh, noodle. Oh my gosh. You could do it with a tapestry needle if you wanted. With a noodle, it would be really hard. And the way I just did it is just um, match a stitch to stitch. And I actually made a single crochet in each row using the last color I used. In my case, it was the turquoise. And I went rows by rows and made a single crochet through both of the sides of my work and I went all the way and I left let me see how many did I leave I left seven little strips of color open my last one that I closed was a color of uh, olive green and yeah so I left one two three four five six yeah seven little strips of colors open at the bottom and that is what it looked like all right, so as I said, with the wrong side facing you, match stitch to stitch, um, passing your crochet hook through both of the sides of your work. One stitch and then the opposite one. Yarn over and then through all the loops on your hook. It's a little blurry, but it will get better. Go to the next one, pass your crochet hook through both of uh, the stitches and yarn over and through all the stitches again, through all the loops on your crochet hook and you're going to do that all the way down matching stitch to stitch with your blue collar you're working again on the wrong side of your work oh thank you Anu <laughs> now it's not blurry anymore see you pass your crochet hook through one side the other side yarn over and through the loops on your hook and you're going to do that all along the side of your work Stopping at the seventh color, which is the olive green, to the bottom. This is what it will look like from the right side of your work. Seamless. And now time to create the upper part of your dress. That part right there, we will narrow the upper part of your dress, creating what will be on your chest, on your breast, and making the straps as well. And we will begin with the front part. So your dress is assembled, you folded it in half, assembling it, you switch it back to the right side, and it is in front of you, facing you. So at the top of the first point peak counting left from the right seam right there you're going to join right there at the middle of the three stitches from your point with your olive color so join with your olive color and then make a single crochet in the peak and then you're going to make single crochets until you reach the valley part of your zigzag. Now, since you have began counting at the middle part of the peak, you will have 13 single crochets in total from the stitch you just joined. And once you have 13 single crochet, you're going to skip two and make 12 more single crochets. And you're going to continue in pattern. So you join right there and then you went down, you skip two, 12 more single crochet, a peak, 12 single crochet, down skip two, 12 single crochet a peak, 12 single crochet skip two, and then 13 single crochet and up. Since your last single crochet will be in the middle stitch of the peak, and at that point, when you reach 
the peak you are going to turn. Here we go. So I will crochet and I will meet you when it is time to turn right at the peak right there, which is right there. All right. All right, you are at the peak. You're going to make your last uh, single crochet in the middle stitch of the third, the three stitches that created the peak. And then you're going to chain one and turn around. And continue for this next row, making a single crochet in the first stitch, a single crochet in the second stitch, a single crochet in the third. There is no more skipping at the beginning of each row. And that is what is going to help us decrease and creating the triangle top that we want for the upper part of our sundress. So now you are going to single crochet 12. Once you have 12 single crochets, you are going to skip two. So we had 13 single crochets last row which was row 150. And for your 151st row, you're going to have 12 single crochets and then you're going to skip two. And then you're going to continue in pattern until you reach the last peak. And at the last peak, you will as well have 12 single crochets until you reach the top of your peak. Now you're going to continue like that with your green color for six more rows, you know, making the green stripe with eight rows as usual. But each and every row you will have at the beginning one less single crochet. So you begin with 13, you have 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, and 7, and 6. So at the end of your last green uh, a row you should begin with six single crochet and end with six single crochet if that makes any sense and now we're going to change color and take your next color which is in our case beige and you're going to join the same way you have joined all along and turn and you're going to begin your first row so make a single crochet in the first stitch as usual and for this row you are going to make five single crochets before you skip your two stitches and skip your two stitches and then make your single crochets until you reach your peak but then you're not going to continue, you're going to chain one and turn. And we are going to work on those stitches here. And here you are going to have one, two, remember you're going to have 13 stitches because you stopped at the middle stitch of the peak. So you add one to your 12 count. So make 13 single crochets. We are creating these parts right now. All right, so now for a row 159, you chain one, you turn, and now you're going to have 12 single crochets. Skip two stitches, and then you will have one, two, three, and four single crochets to end this row. Chain and turn your work. You're going to make three single crochets this time. Skip two. Now you're going to have 11 single crochets. You had 13, 12, now 11.
machine, turn your work around. I'm going to have 10 single crochets now. Once you have 10 single crochets, skip two. Now you have two single crochets left. Chain one, turn your work around. One single crochet, skip two. And then you have nine single crochets left. Chain one, turn around. I'm going to make eight single crochets. And you're going to skip one this time and single crochet. Now you're going to turn. And this is what your work will look like. Stay creating the upper part of the triangle top for your beach dress. Now we're going to work on the stitches that are left. Skip the first stitch and go into the next one. Not in this one, but the next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Chain one, turn around, not in the first stitch, but in the second, make a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Skip the sixth stitch and single crochet in the seventh one. Chain one and turn. You're almost done with the upper part of the triangle top of your dress. You are going to grab your scissors and fasten up. And of course you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side creating the second triangle top. Repeating exactly what we have done. Mm, attaching your beige yarn, making a 13 single crochet, etc, etc. And also you're going to do exactly the same thing at the back of your work. It will mirror exactly what you did to the front. And once you're done with both of your sides, so you have four little beige triangle tops, two in the front and two in the back, exactly the same, we're going to create the straps. So you take your beige yarn and uh, you attach it at the top of the beige part right there. So you had seven stitches left. So you're going to take the four stitches on the right side of the right strap and the four stitches on the left part of the left strap right there. And you're going to join and you're going to make four single crochets. One, two, three and four and this is going to be the width of your straps you can make them as thin or as wide as you like i like four single crochets chain one turn my work around and this is what i'm going to do i'm going to do rows and rows of four single crochets back and forth back and forth until i have uh, the right length for my shoulder strap which will look like that. And once I have the right length for it, I will attach it to the other side of my triangle top. The opposite triangle top matching in the back. I had 24 rows about in total. And of course you can assemble with your crochet hook by slip stitching uh, the way I show you right there, or you can just simply uh, sew it with a tapestry needle. I'm assembling it the same way I always assemble my crochet 
uh, work together, stitch to stitch, and then passing the crochet hook through both of the sides of the work, yarn over and through all the loops on my hook, and then I fasten off and I repeat for the other strap. And then what is left for me to do is only to uh, sew in all the loose tails at the back of my work, repeat it of course for the other side if I didn't say that already, and you are done my friends, just like that you created this beautiful Missoni style summer dress. I think it is gorgeous. I love the colors. I love everything about it. And it wasn't hard to make at all. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as I have enjoyed creating it for you. I'm looking forward to many more. And for other sizes, don't forget to go and look at my blog. See you next time. In the meantime, happy crochet. Bye. If you are not, uh, if you are not subscribed, um, um, what else can I tell you? Found my shirt. Uh, what else can I tell you? Oh yeah.